guys, I'm Ozzy Bella. Welcome to episode 15 of the World Tour at Sport Boys in Peru. And today we finish up our first season at the club one way or another because it is the second leg of the championship final playoff against Elias de Lima. You can see we drew 1-1 at the first leg. We're at home today, though they are still favourites for this game. Uh, now, just a quick thing here. I was just checking the rules to see exactly where we stand here. Championship final, there's replay match rules. There's nothing here about away goals or anything like that. So I think that if uh, if this game is a draw, we're going to have a replay. So there could well be two games today, uh, as well as our end of season awards, our goal of the season competition, all that sort of usual fun stuff we do to end off uh, a season. So we'll crack on because this could be a long episode if uh, if we do indeed need to go to a replay. This is the team that we are sending out. You'll notice I did decide to go with wingers for this one. Um, we looked a lot better when we switched to wingers last game. So we're going to go with the wingers. So it's Salinas in goal. It's Cosio, Zubieta, Emerson and Fernandez. He has a bruised thigh. Um, so it's nothing to worry about too much. He's due to come back from it tomorrow anyway. We don't have another option at right back. So he's playing. Uh, Mosquera in the anchor man role. Goivin and Mongolan in midfield. Fry goes down the left wing. Uh, Perez comes in the bloke, go down the right. Vega goes up top. Rolando Castro can perhaps consider himself unlucky as our top goal scorer to be on the bench for this one. Um, but Vega, I think, is the better option right now. All right, and here we go, and it all comes down to this, or potentially the next the replay as well. Uh, what do we say? I think it's, we just want to be, if we can, do we want to be calm? Go out there and enjoy yourselves. I like that. A bit of passionate, we have faith in you. Uh, and then hopefully that'll fire them up, and we'll go out there and we'll put on a performance of a lifetime. Because this, I mean, it's our f first year at the club, our f the club's first year in the top flight uh, for a while. They're, they're a, a, one of the bigger clubs in Peru, so I'm not quite sure how they ended up out of the top flight, to be honest. But that's not our concern. This would be, it would be a stunning first year at the club, wouldn't it? To, I mean, we've we, in the past, we won uh, the second divisions our first year with Shanghai and with Pasiba. Um, but that's not a top flight, is it? All right, Perez to knock in a corner. Can we get Emerson on the end of something? Back post! Oh, it's just over from Zubieta. I do wonder if uh, if we can go in front, if that would really, really help help our nerves settle down. It might it might impact them as well. Um, they're having a lot of the ball right now, which isn't ideal, but a lot of the ball and no highlights is fine, isn't it? It's the other way around. As long as it's the limited highlights that we want. All right. It's a goal kick for them. Can we win that ball, please? We can. Cosio's there. Mongolan in for Goyven. Look at your winger, mate. Look at your winger. He goes early for Vega, but it wasn't quite there, was it? Now it comes back the other way. Oh, and the nerves. The nerves rise. Come on, boys. Come on, let's get in front of that. Don't let him shoot. It's past the post. It's a horrible shot. Shoot like that all day, boys, because they're not going to score with that. Um, let's maybe give it a demand more here. Hasn't been a classic so far, has it? Um, to be honest, I'll take a boring game as long as we win 1-0. Cosio in for Vega, back in for Cosio. Can we get across? Well? Look at the space in midfield here. Goivin, he's got some space to run into if he wants to take it. He goes out. Can we get a run in here somewhere? There it is. It's Fernandez header in. It's just lost its impetus there, didn't it? it was, you could see the space. We just didn't use it. And now we find ourselves horribly outnumbered at the back. No, somebody get it. Oh. <laughs> All right, just patience, boys. In the build up here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's get in front of it. Oh, it's a cracking save from Salinas. Whether it was actually going to end up in the back of the net or not, we will never know for sure. But it was a good save, wasn't it? Better safe than sorry on that one. Corner comes in, headed away. Emerson Goyven completes the clearance. Can Vega kick it up? No. Come on, boys, get creative here. Come on, come on, come on. All right, here goes Vega. Vega! <laughs> what a free kick! It seemed impossible to score from there. The war maybe wasn't as good as it could have been. But Alisson Vega, eight goals since he joined us halfway through the year. Look at this. A late entrant for goal of the season, perhaps. Absolute top corner. Unsavable for any goalkeeper, especially from that close. And we do indeed find ourselves 1-0 up. Come on, boys. Now, let's keep our concentration here coming into the break. Please, it's selling us with another cracking, stunning save. Let's give it a demand more here. Let's not... Lose our concentration before the halftime whistle, please. Come on, get this away. Away. Salinas is there. Absolute class, Salinas. Two brilliant, brilliant saves from our goalkeeper have given us a halftime lead. We haven't played well, have we? Um, it's going to be a halftime talk of just the calm. I'm not happy, boys. I'm not happy with that. Um, we. I know we can do better than that. 
because I've seen us do better than that. Let's get a bit of a bit of love going here as well. We don't want to carrot and stick. We don't want to just beat them to death. Um, everything else is looking okay. The wingers haven't really worked so far, have they? Uh, we haven't seen much of Perez. We haven't. I don't think we've even seen Vasco Fry yet. Uh, so that bodes the question: Do we do we ditch the wingers now that we are in front and look to go a little bit more narrow, perhaps? Um, we do have that option because we could go with Perez and Vega up front uh, with Vasco in behind. Vega! Oh, it's flipped over and Emerson's put it over the bar. A second goal, and you would you would hope we would be able to see it out. Come on, boys. Vamos, vamos. Do we go with demand more here? Oh, it's another free kick. It's another free kick. Salanasi had that covered, I think. <laughs> we'll go with that. Come on. Salanas is, well, with the exception of Vega, the best player on the pitch right now. Uh, come on, boys. Oh, hit the man more as the highlight starts. Let's go get a second goal here. Come on. Let's put this to bed. Oh, Square has done really, really well there. Back for Goyven. Can he pick out a runner? Can he pick out? Oh, it's a tackle. It's a really good tackle, to be fair. But that is going to leave us a little bit outnumbered at the back because our fullbacks were forward. Oh, our fullbacks should have been there. No! Salanas cannot save us again. It was a good tackle, to be fair, but Goyven caught in possession. You cannot, cannot allow yourself to do that. Uh, and is the replay actually going to happen? Um, do we want to change anything here? I don't think we necessarily do. Let's give it a get creative. Fernandez isn't playing well. He's apprehensive. We don't have another option at right back. There's, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, let's... Oh, it's a highlight. There's a highlight. Come on, Fernandez. Emerson, who's forward? Let's let's get... A, a goal now would just about win it, wouldn't it? Fernandez in for Mosquera. Can he play it in here somewhere? In here, Mosquera. There's the ball. Mongolan. Mongolan, square it, square it, square it. Somebody square it. We've got to have someone in this space here. There's no one there. We're going to concede again, aren't we? Win that. Winners. Emerson wins it. Oh, that was an important header to win. Goyven spreads it out for Perez. Come on, we haven't seen anything from our wingers this game whatsoever. Goes in. It's back post. It's free! 2-1. We've seen something from our wingers now. That is one winger to the other. Uh, let's concentrate here, Aussie villain. Let's just quickly slow this thing down. Let's be a little bit shorter with our passing. Play for set pieces. There's five minutes to go. Have we won it late, late on here? Um, keep that the same, I think. Excellent stuff. Finally, finally, we've used the width of the pitch. Uh, Perez with a cracking cross in. And I thought Vega was going to be the hero, but he's left it for Fry. And Fry makes no mistakes. Doesn't give the keeper a chance. That is 2-1, 3-2 on aggregate. There are no away goals, so we do not have to worry about that. Uh, and it's another highlight. Oh, that's a horrible throw. What are we doing? We've just about got away with it. Fry's there now. Back for Mongolan. Cosio in for Fry. I'd rather we be a little bit higher up the pitch doing this, but it's as long as we keep the ball, it's fine. We're toying with them, aren't we? Zubiata in for Cosio. Back for Fry. Where's the Olays? Fry. He goes across. That's a horrible pass. Fry, come on, mate. We keep the ball so well, and then we just go and give it away. Oh, that was uh, really, really, really annoying. You know, what? we're going to try counter pressing here. Um, I don't really understand why we did that. Let's maybe not exploit the flanks because it's not really working for us. And it's 2-2. I don't... What is he thinking? Fry, come on. Oh, unbelievable. All right, demand more. Come on, boys. Can we go and win it yet again? You do wonder... Oh, here's a chance. Here's a chance. Here's a chance. Hey, oh! Selfish. Selfish, Vega. That needed to be played in for one of your teammates. And that is it. It is going to go to a replay. Oh, no, they win. Why do they win? Oh, well, that's annoying. Is it because they finished higher up the copper table? Maybe. Um, if that's the case, I'm okay with it. It's more annoying the fact that we will, we don't get a replay, but I'm okay with it. I just wish the rules had said that. Um, unlucky tonight. 
All right, so honors even. Fry, I mean, you essentially you've cost us the title, but we won't worry about that. Um, confusion reigns here because I don't understand. Let's go to let's go to the competitions. Uh, Copper movie star has it been given to them? Any second tier? It hasn't been given. So why? All right. I'm just going to play ahead a little bit here and just kind of see what happens. All right, there is a replay, guys. Don't panic. We haven't lost it yet. We go again. All right, here it is. This is it. This is a definitive final now. It's a one-off game. Uh, you can see, once again, we're not favorites, and we are playing it at their place, which is fine, I guess. Uh, if we look at the rules for this, it is... Uh, I wish it would just go to the bloody thing I wanted to. Um, so extra time if it's level, then a penalty shootout. So one way or another, we are deciding who is champions of Peru this very day. Let's have a look at the team we're standing at. It's only been, uh, this is the Wednesday, it's only been a two-day gap, um, which means I've had to freshen things up a little bit. Unfortunately for Fernandez, he's already tied. We don't have another option. Um, so we're going to have to just flog him, uh, unfortunately, and get him through this game. But Salinas in goal. Cafeteria goes in to play down the left with Zubieta, Emerson, and Fernandez. Mosquera, Govin, and Mongolum are going to keep faith with them. This guy's who name I cannot say. He comes in to play for Fernand uh, for uh, Pe uh, Perez because he is also tied. He's done okay when he's come in for us. You can see uh, 7.13 average. So he's, he should be fine with Fry down the left. Hopefully he'll pass the teammates this game. Uh, and Vega continues up top. How could we drop him after that last game? So they're going the same way as well. And it'll be interesting to see how their players have turned up after after that game. So it, it is a very, very quick turnaround. So we haven't really had a chance to do anything in training. Just rest, basically. I think there was one session on board distribution. Perez, I mean, Fry. Uh, all right, so what do we say to this? Maybe as a bit of a passionate now. I know we're the underdogs. Let's give the fans a performance. Let's show them what we're capable of. Some calm, we have faith. And let's go win a final. Third time of asking, let's go win a final anyway. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I, in, a, I'm in a way, I'm, I am glad, obviously, that we get a replay. I, I would, oh, it's not the best way to start. Is that going to be a booking? No, it's not. Um, if it went to the team that finished higher in that movie star, like the overall league table, that's fair. I wouldn't have a problem with that. I just would like to know about it beforehand. Here's Goyben lofting one in, Mosquera. Is that a penalty? Is that a penalty? It is a penalty! We don't have Cossio on the pitch. We do have Vega. Now, I haven't seen Vega take a penalty. It's always been Cossio. This would be a stunning way to start the game, wouldn't it? Come on, Vega. Come on, son. Vega! Oh, it's a horrible penalty. We missed Cossio. I should have started him. I should have started him and just taken him off when he was tied. Oh, will I live to regret that? And is that going to destroy Vega for the rest of the game? Come on, boys. Get creative. That's oh, that's That could be massive, couldn't it? Another chance from a set piece here. Goyven knocks it in. Back post. It's headed away. Emerson's there. Can he roll it back out here, perhaps? Emerson in there. Oh, it's a new boy! He's chipped it in for Mongolan! 1-0. Fourth goal of the year. And Angel Poilasco has just chipped in a beautiful ball that was just begging to be headed in. And Mongolan has done just that. Well done for Emerson too. Bit of composure, picked out the ball, and Mongolan just had to redirect it, didn't he? And he did a stunning job. It's a deft little header, and that is 1-0 to Spot Boys. Come on, boys. Or oh, Vamos, boys. Vamos, we're in Peru, aren't we? Come on. Vamos. <laughs> I will never learn. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I'm keeping an eye on Vega here. I really, really hope that that penalty miss isn't going to destroy him. Um, he's not having the... Fernandez and Vega... Vega's not putting in a performance, and Fernandez is just dead. He's just absolutely dead. Salinas with the goal kick out to Emerson. Um, we could look to use Perez as a... What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? We could look to use uh, Perez as a wing-back. We've done it before out there against lesser teams. It, he really struggles defensively. Emerson gets that stunning header. Cafeteria hacks it clear, and Vega can't quite get onto the end of it. And the highlight is going to continue. We do have a bit of a nasty habit of conceding on the stroke of half time, don't we? Or late goals in each half, actually. Away for Emerson. Come on. Oh, no! We continue to give away goals late in halves. It's m m most likely a, a fitness issue, but... I mean, this late in the season, we haven't really... I We did do, I think, a week of 
physical training in between, sort of, I can't remember if it was in between the the semi final and the final, or between the end of the league season and the and the semi final. Um, but it just it just hasn't really paid off, has it? Vega is now playing a six. We need to try and fix him at half time somehow. Vega, it's a tough one. Needed to almost bring that down, didn't he? Um, can we win that, please? We can with Fernandez. He's been absolutely heroic, Fernandez. He's just dead on his feet. And he's just, he's such, oh, he's lost out to pace there. Ball comes in, easy for Salinas. This is a long old highlight. Just don't do anything stupid, please, Salinas. Please. My square is there. Out for Zubieta. He goes, it's a decent ball for Fry. What can he do? He does owe us. He owes the team after that stuff up last game. It's a cracking ball for Vega! <laughs> there it is, 2-1! We score late goals as well. What a pass that is from Fry. That makes up for it, doesn't it? And Vega makes up for his penalty miss by knocking in his ninth of the year already. What? How many could he have got this year if he played all year with us? Excellent run from Fry. And he's just slid in a stunning ball. And Vega, from a tightish angle, to be fair to him, has just tucked that away expertly. There we go. 2-1. We're back in front. I don't care if it was offside because it doesn't matter. We're going to have to do something about Fernandez. Um, do we move Emerson over there, perhaps, and bring on Big Willie D? We haven't played well, have we? <laughs> um, yet somehow we find ourselves in front. Um, things are going well, you're capable of better. I think that's the talk, isn't it? Um, go down, just tell some players here that aren't playing well that there's more to come from them. What do we do? With Fernandez, he's, he's at 54 at half time. He's, we can't get this second half out of him. I wish I could get some instant feedback here. Do we go Perez as a wing back and just give up all defensive <laughs> inclinations there, or or do we put Emerson over there, bring Big Willie D on? I I almost think that's what we need to do. Uh, we have the lead. We can always we can always bring on Perez if we need a goal later on, can't we? What we can't do is I mean we're not gonna get anything out of him. We'll just admit that to ourselves. We can always take off uh, say Zubiata and put you know, we can we can switch that back and get a more attacking player on if we do need a goal, but what we can't do, as I said, is undo a defensive mistake that costs us a goal. Uh, so big Willie D, some calm we have faith in you, mate. Let's get on out there. We're forty five minutes away. That penalty would have been nice, wouldn't it? It really it really would have been a nice thing to have. But doesn't matter. We don't have it. We can't complain about it now. Flick on. Easy for Salinas to pick up. And what is... That's not the highlight, is it? What is going to come of this? It's an interesting throw. Rather we weren't throwing that far. Just maybe run across and roll it to him. But that's fine. Mongolian out for Fry. He might be, is he motivated? He knows he cost us last time. Roll it in again. It's a carbon copy. Roll it in again. Vega! <laughs> 10 now for Vega. 3-1 to Sport Boys. Are we going to be champions? That is... It was a carbon copy, wasn't it? Fry, the wingers have paid off this game. They were questionable whether it worked. Arguably, it didn't work last game because that stupid Fry crossfield ball is what cost us the game. But that was much more like it. And Vega, he's forgotten all about that missed penalty now, hasn't he? That is absolutely stunning. Oh, and we come straight back. We do have a, that extra goal now. We're two up. They're going to have to go for it. Um, I'd like to last a little bit longer than 30 seconds with a two-goal lead, though, if possible. Can we nick it? Can we nick it? Oh, he's rolled into space. Nice little turn there. Come on. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Get a tackle in. It's over the bar. Never, never a doubt. No problems there whatsoever. Oh, and we come back again. Guys, let's close this down, please. Unless we're going to go and score. Here goes Big Willie D. Up for Goyven. Goyven goes in for Vega. It's a decent touch from Vega, but he's up there all alone. It's not what's required, boys. It's not what's required. Willie D's there again. Back for Salinas. Oh, come on. Too many highlights. Let's just ground out a boring 3-1 win from here. Just a snooze fest of a second half would be amazing. Thank you. Goyven out for Fry. All right, what can he do? He's on fire. He goes out for Cafeteria. Can he get a cross in? Can he get a cross in? Oh, it's headed away. It's there for Goyven. Goyven's time! And just over the bar. 
unlucky. Um, do we praise? I think I think they've earned a bit of praise, haven't they? Goyvin's not having a great game. Um, this must square out in midfield. We have options. Uh, we, we we might take the Goyvin option. Uh, we'll bring on Miguel Martinez for Goyvin. Oh, yeah, I did that. That was right. And then we'll switch those guys around. All right, come on. Fresh legs aren't a bad thing, are they? Emerson's looking tired, but he's just got to just got to stick it in there for us, so to speak. Praise. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Are we going to do it? Oh, this is more like it. This is more like it. A boring, boring game. No highlights. This is exactly what I want for my football when I'm winning. All right. It's this guy. Chips it in. Back post. It's headed away. We've got too many men forward there. We should still have... Yeah, we do. Okay, we do have men back. I'm always... A, well, we're supposed to be a little... Oh, he's won that. Martinez. Well done, mate. Early ball forward. Can Vega get his hat trick? Vega's in. Vega! Oh! That would have sealed it, wouldn't it? That definitely would have sealed it up. Um, oh, it's a corner. Away. Oh, it's headed towards goal. Salinas is on the ground. He's diving at the feet of a player. Let's hack that clear. There it is. It's a throw in. Let's start and close this thing down. Um, let's yeah, let's just close this thing down. Um, I did go counter-pressing for this game. To, I was hoping that that would make a difference. Um it's certainly, and we also close the lines up for this game as well. Uh, they're sort of the two tactical changes we made. Um, we'll leave it like that. Just slow it down and waste time, boys. Slow it down and waste time. We do have another sub we can make. Fry with a corner. This would wrap it up. It's headed away. It's not the best corner we've seen, is it? Emerson, Emerson should be in the middle, but of course he's playing right back that he's some, for some reason out there. I don't even know why he's out there, to be honest. Masquera up. Goes out for Emerson. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Come on, let's. Emerson, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, I just wanted. I just wanted to see it out. I just wanted to see it out. It's a good, good defensive pressure there. For was that Big Willie D? No, it's Zubiata. Just put. I think he did just enough to put the attacker off there. Come on, get this clear. Get this clear. It's headed away, and that is surely, surely it. Let's go defensive. Let's go defensive. They're not going to score twice. Surely, surely they're not going to score twice, guys. We're Peruvian champions. Excellent, excellent stuff. You can have this. Just let them have it. Let them have it. Give them a side of goal. Let them have a free shot. It doesn't matter because we are Peruvian champions in our first season at the club. There we go. Excellent, excellent stuff. Love that. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please do hit uh, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you new. I'll get that out of the way now before I forget to do it after the end of season awards. Um, Absolutely incredible. With a missed penalty as well. It could have been so much better. A little bit of passion. Well done, boys. That was really, really special. Amazing. There it is. We win the copy movie star. And let's be honest, when Vega missed that penalty, none of us thought he was coming back to get a double, did we? Um, amazing stuff. A bit of an injury for Fernandez. That's okay. He's loaned up anyway. I'd like to try and get him back, actually, if I can. Um, what we will do tomorrow is we'll do sort of a, 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 a summer transfer. Is it summer? Southern Hemisphere, it'll be a winter, no, it will be a summer, a summer transfer special um, as we go through and, um, yeah, build up for towards next season. We're in the Libertadores, let's not forget. Uh, but there we go, we have won the Copy Movie Star, that is amazing. Guys, wait right there, it's time for the end of season awards. Live from downtown Peru, it's time for the Spot Boys end of season awards. Chaz Hogan, Australian journalist, how do you reflect on the season, season? Chaz Hogan, I was wondering if you were going to make it this year. Great to see you, mate. Uh, how do I reflect on the year? Um, well, it could only be with immense pride, kind of. When we came in, I did not think uh, we would be crowned Peruvian champions come the end of it. But uh, we've earned it, we've worked hard, and we've achieved it. Uh, so onwards and upwards for next season. I cannot wait for that to begin now. Who do you want well to win the Golden Vegas. Star? Happy the final. Well done, mate. Enjoy your evening. Uh, who do I think will win Player of the Year? Well, I mean, that's that's the fans' award, isn't it? I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want it to, you know influence that in any way um, I think honestly any one of our starting 11 there's a couple on the bench as well I think they could justifiably uh, have a claim to win that so I'm excited as you are to see who it is that uh, the fans vote uh, player of the year who are you Ashford. wearing mate great season mate enjoy your night uh, who am I wearing uh, no idea mate PA dress me couldn't tell you
Good evening and welcome to the Sport Boys End of Season Awards, both to your people in the auditorium and you watching at home. It's been an absolutely amazing season. I don't think any of us thought we would be crowned Peruvian champions when we took over in January, uh, but that was all down to the players. So I think we should begin the evening by giving a well-deserved round of applause to the players. Cracking season, lads. And now to the awards. First up, it is the Golden Pen for signing of the year. He cost us 70000 He's worth every cent. It's Emerson. Next, it is the Golden Card awarded to the player with most bookings through the year. Prestigious award, this one. And with five yellow cards, this year's winner is John Paul Mongolan. Now, it's the Golden Bullseye awarded to the player with the best pass completion. And this season, with 89%, it's the goalkeeper, Sol Salinas. Well done, Sol. And next up, it's the Golden Spoon, of course, awarded to the man that feeds the strikers most assists. And this season with eight, he's on crutches, get out of his way, it's Ronaldo and Dio, everybody. And the awards just keep on coming. Next up, it's the Golden Anchor, awarded to the man we can rely on, the anchor of the team with the highest average rating. And this season, at 7.24, it's the hero of the final, it's Alison Vega. The awards just keep on coming. Next, it's the Golden Soother, the baby of the team, the Young Player of the Year. And this year, he's not just signing of the year, he's also Young Player of the Year. It's Emerson. All right, we are rattling through these, and now it's time for one of the big ones. It's the Golden Boot. Of course, the man with the top goal scorer of the season. This year, with 16 goals, it's Rolando Castro. The evening is quickly winding down now, but before we get to the big one, the player of the year, we do have to announce our team of the season. Now, if you just direct your eyes up to the screen, you will see that our goalkeeper is Salinas. The defence is Cosio, Zubiata, Emerson, and Andia. The anchor man is Onkoy, Mosquero unlucky, shouldn't have got sent off though, mate. Uh, the midfield is Goivin and Mongolan. The wingers are Perez and Fry. And of course, the striker you can see is Rolando Castro, and absolutely ripped off is Alison Vega. Congratulations to the team of the year. And now it's time for the big one. It is the Golden Star, the player of the year, as voted by you, the fans. Now, I don't envy your decision this year because it could have been anybody. We had so many talented players this year that did a really good job for us. But there can only be one winner, as they say. And this year, with 34% of the vote, it is... Oh, it's a surprise. It's a defender. It is Emerson. He's cleaning up. So there we go. That is the end of season awards for this season. Uh, congratulations to Emerson and the rest of the winners. All very, very well deserved. I cannot wait to get going next year, and I'm sure you feel the same way. As to everybody in the auditorium, to you people watching at home, thank you so much, and we'll see you next season. So there we go. That was the end of season awards. A wonderful evening uh, was had by all. And for those of you who are a little bit more visual, uh, we'll go through the awards here quickly. Player of the year, it was Emerson, 34% of the vote ahead of Perez and Cosio. Goal of the season, we'll get to that in just a second, uh, but Rolando Castro got that as given by the game. Signing of the season was Emerson, 70,000 from a Brazilian club. It might, there might be a Chapa, Chapa was it that, oh, that team that had the horrible plane crash? Was that, that might even be them. But anyway, Emerson was signing of the year. He was also a young player of the year. The stats, Golden Boot winner was Castro uh, with 16. Highest average rating. The game didn't actually give it to anybody. What I did is I went for the highest average rating that had, for a player that had had more than 10 appearances. Um, so that was Alison Vega. Assists, it was actually a tie between Andia and Mongolan, but Andia, having played less games, got that uh, got that award. Pass completion, 89% by the goalkeeper, Saul Salinas. Excellent stuff from him. Most player of the match awards, not an award given out on the evening, but uh, Fernando Perez for, uh, has that honour. Most yellow cards, Mongolan, was enough to clinch him the golden card ahead of Goivin and Mongolan square basically i count a red card as two yellow cards uh and that is that is what gave mongolan uh that honor this season and you can see there the team of the year um we saw that in the um uh, at the ceremony as well we don't really care about the 2018 team of the year because we weren't here then and we wouldn't recognize any of the names anyway um we'll go through here quickly don't know who that is one of our youngsters for next season. Uh, like I was saying, there will be a, um, a, a transfer special uh, for tomorrow. So we'll go through then sort of our team for the for the year and what we're hoping, you know, who we're signing, who we're letting go. There'll be some youngsters come in as well from our, our academy as well. Uh, Lando Castro, third in the overall uh, Young Player of the Year. Well done to him. Hey, Manager of the Year. Well done to me. Um, 
team of the year for uh, for Peru. We've got Salinas, Emerson, and Cosio in there. Difficult to argue with any of them, I would imagine. Uh, transfer would deal with that all later on. Um, so that is it for this season. Now, what we do want to do quickly before we do that is just our a, a sort of annual update on how things are going. Uh, both as us as the manager and also uh, our previous clubs. We can see we're back up to a three-star manager. Uh, not much change on the attribute front there, it doesn't look like. Um, so that's all fair enough. Let's have a look at how Shanghai got on this year without us. We did check mid-season and they weren't doing great. Um, now we want to have a quick look here at Yuri Ruse. He 26 games, only a 6.65 average. Um, we're not going to be able to afford to get you in for this season upcoming, mate. You, you're too valuable. Um, but... At some point, we will try to get you back in. Um, let's have a quick look at how the season went for them. Now, we know they got knocked out in the group stage of the Asian Champions League. And as we can see here, they finished seventh um, in the Chinese First Division or the Super League, which isn't really good enough, is it? Considering we, we didn't win the league last year, did we? We came second, but that's a big, big drop-off. Uh, so Lord Yang will not be pleased with that. Uh, and if we just go quickly back and have a look at how Perceiver did. Um, let's have a look here. They finished third. So they're back into the Asian Confederation Cup. So that's good Good to see them um, rebounding. Because they, they had a little bit of a drop-off after us, didn't they? Um, but third in the in the league this year. Much, much better. Uh, only snuck in there. But hopefully we'll see them challenging for a league again soon. Because we can see from our time there, um, you know, they haven't really recaptured that form, have they? Uh, any names here we recognize? Still Ortiz, Medina still there. Cayo, Adsit still there as well. Adsit did quite well this year. Um... Ronaldo Wanmar is there. Lee San Ming, he was a class player for us, wasn't he? Uh, anybody else we recognize here? It doesn't look like it. Oh, Moses is still there. He was a youngster when coming through. They're not using him, though, are they? Uh, we're not going to be able really to see, but he's a good player for that level. They should be using him more. Uh, but that's not my concern anymore because I'm not in charge of that club. Anyway, guys, so that just now leaves us with goal of the season. Now, if you are new uh, to the channel, you haven't uh, seen the way we do this before. Basically, what happens is uh, we vote for our own goal of the year. Now, what I'll do is there'll be four goals. One of them uh, will be Rolando Castro. Three others that I've nominated that I think are worthy of the goal of the season award. Um, and at the end of the, of the little compilation, there'll be a little eye at the top of the screen up there. Click that. Uh, it'll bring up a poll and you can vote for your favourites. Uh, but we've scored more than just four good goals. So to begin with, we're going to have a look at some of our honourable mentions. Uh, but that's all for today though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Aussie Villa. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for a transfer special. Take care. Top four goals for the 2026 season. Click the eye to vote for your favorite.